Sparrow's vlog, day one. I finally reach up. <laughs> what the hell? Rude. Okay then. Sparrow's vlog, day one. I finally reached my destination. I got word of this place from my uncle Doug, who came out here a year or two ago. He wrote to us to let us know that there were several nice homes just ripe for the picking. The only problem was that they were already occupied by tree swallows. Tough guys on the wing, but complete wussies once you take the fight indoors. Anyway, Doug disappeared that year. Rumor has it he went back home to England. Now. Of the three houses on the grassy knoll here, the other two are occupied already by aspiring male tree swallows. They don't like me very much. It's my suspicion that they could be bigots. Or maybe it's because I killed the previous tree swallow occupant and built my nest on his corpse. So this unique environment of wetland and open land has brought many of us together who normally would never see one another. You got all kinds of birds coming together here. Morning doves, meadowlarks, great blue herons, this one catching a vole that crossed over from the wetland, cardinals, of course red-winged blackbirds, male and female, song sparrows, Chipping sparrows, goldfinches, American robins, there are even ducks. Yeah, this is a regular funny farm. There's a pair of mallards that hang out around here, and it's pretty amusing when another mallard comes around. What we have here is one being very aggressive in a duck terms to another one, but it looks like nothing more than a horse race. Everybody's in line, and they're off. Looks like the early lead goes to Mike Gallant. Yes, Mike Gallant going for the lead with Price and Prince on the outside. Secretary to weigh very well, has good position on the rail, and in fact is now going up with the leader. They're moving for the first turn. It is Secretariat. Sham on the outside is also moving along strongly. Purple Grackles. This one seems to have a penchant for parkour. It's a big old gross utopia. Ah, Sandhill Cranes. These guys come strolling through on the reg. These giraffe birds answer to no one. The landowner is very fond of these guys, as well as great blue herons, because they will destroy any and every vole that attempts to make a nest in this yard. These guys frequently walk the bike path too. Their bike path. The humans may have built it, but the cranes own it now. So the humans have been watching me, but I've also been watching the humans. And for some reason, recently a lot of them have become doctors and nurses. They also barely touch each other anymore and have become dangerously obsessed with toilet paper. This really is a great spot. It has everything. Plenty of food. Some of it doesn't even require any work. Just go over to one of the bird feeders, fill up. It's free. The humans just put this out for anybody. And we'd like to return the favor by turning the food into poo and then decorating their cars with it. But even the yard is great. The landowner uses only organic fertilizers, composts, and never any pesticides, so there's always a lot of food to be found. The landowner is showing you the organic fertilizer to let you know that he's a better person than you are. I see him on the lawn pulling dandelions every day. Headphones on. He thinks he's a rock star. How we touched and went our separate ways. <clears throat> Sorry. Got a little caught up there. Day two. I'm learning that it's not all kumbaya and ditchweed in this utopia. There is some conflict. The swallows and red wings both hate the grackles. This is because they regularly will try to steal their chicks. The red wings can graze 
near the swallows all they want. The swallows will leave them be. But when those grackles get too close, it's on. And a couple of the most problematic grackles like to use this feeding strategy, which is something like, well, have a look. This bird busts his hump, getting some food. The grackle chases him off, takes his grub. He is spying several birds at the same time, harvesting all of their work for himself. This the landowner finds decidedly distasteful, and he usually remedies it with lead. Check out this red wing that was getting harassed. Ah, oh, you tell him, buddy. <laughs> I wish I could tell you that the grackles were our biggest menace, but they are not. Day three, there could be a problem. This area has quite a few raptors. And I'm not talking about them slow, lumbering, idiot red-tailed hawks. They don't have a fart's chance in the wind of capturing me. But the Cooper's hawks and the sharp shins, these things are not to be messed with. Even the red-winged blackbirds get the heck out of dodge when they see these guys. They are bird eaters and they are damn good at it. They live over here and over here, which usually would give you enough time to spot them coming in. However, they come screaming low, below radar. And they'll snatch one of us and be gone before we even know what happens. Luckily, they usually target the growing juvenile bird, mostly robins and red wings. But that doesn't mean they're not going to take me if I misstep, so remain on high alert at all times. Seriously, the only match for these birds is each other, and they don't get along too well either. This is the sharp shin about to wallop a Cooper's Hawk, and the Cooper's Hawk quickly gives him the business end, making him rethink his strategy. Day four. Oh, the rain. The rain, rain, rain. It just keeps coming. I'm doing my best to stay good looking, but oh, it's tough, man. It's tough. I'm torn between hanging out inside where it's dry or continuing my advertising on top of the house. I've been here a half a week and I still haven't seen a girl. I need to be on top and I need to be singing. What's this? Snow? Perfect. And now what the heck is this? This looks a little more ominous than the rain showers I've seen so far. These winds are gusting more than I've ever seen. I'm thinking about darting in my house, but as I look around here, no one else is left. They've all bailed. It can't be safe to stay here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go hole up in a warehouse somewhere. I'll see you guys when this is over. Day 5. So, last night, a freaking tornado tore through here. Houses all seemed pretty intact, but that trampoline got chucked across the neighborhood like a frisbee. The landowner, looking defeated, dragged it back to his house with the help of a couple neighbors. He says he's going to repair it. I'm sure the swallows would appreciate it, seeing as how it was one of their favorite perches. 
Day six, I become more bold and courageous, singing louder and running away much less. With my increased boldness, I like to use the whole top of the house. I like a big stage. I need space, like a dad on a wedding dance floor. Don't believe me, just watch. Well, that's just great. The swallows are getting lucky. But I'm still standing here by myself, watching my get smaller. Look at that show off over there, giving her the old touch and go. Anyway, well done, sir. Game, recognize game. Oh, here's something we don't see very often. It's a crow. Oh, it looks like the landowner wants him gone. Yeah, these crows. He normally gives them a pass, but these guys have been causing trouble with the garbage lately. <laughs> but he's going to try to offhand him. Oh, yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Cracking under pressure there, huh, buddy? Though he also hates these birds, European starlings. Another foreigner like myself. Oh, oh, oh this is, yeah, he's going to try to offhand this guy now. <laughs> if you can't hit a crow, what makes you think you can? Oh, no, oh, even the losers get lucky sometimes. Tough break, starling. It's not your day. Day nine, back to business. I know it looks boring, just a whole bunch of chirping, but this is going to pay off. Oh, and look, the landowner actually got his trampoline fixed up. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Come on, dude. The job is done. You're just being greedy. Well, keep it up, smart guy. Going to get yourself demonetized is what you're going to do. Today, the landowner decided that he wanted to get a closer look at all of us. He got this super clever idea to camouflage his little GoPro camera. Yeah, I'm not going in there. I do not party like this, okay? Yeah, get it out of there, pervert. All clear again? Good. Now what's he up to? Uh, no, 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 wait. This could be a good thing. In an effort to help me out, the landowner has agreed to install a new screen door. This is going to make a fantastic attractant for the ladies. Yeah, yeah, looks good. Looks good. I think I'll just jump in here and have a look. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Hey, little help here. There's no, there's no handle on the inside. Wait a minute, what's that say? That's a, England? England? I'm going home? <laughs> I'm going home! <laughs> Warm beer, brown food, and marzipan. Here I come. Sweet!